Have you heard that Google is shaking up the world with another breakthrough development? AI chip Willow. They even claim it marks a major leap in quantum computing. You might be wondering, what's the big deal? Well, it's essentially an AI-powered quantum chip featuring 105 qubits and real-time error correction. It enables solving a complex computation in under five minutes, a task that would take one of today's fastest computers 10 to the 25th or 10 septillion years. Sounds impressive, but there's more to the story than meets the eye. First of all, Google already has a track record of launching and abandoning projects for various reasons, including a range of quantum attempts. From Google's quantum AI lab with limited capabilities to the first superconducting quantum processor called Sycamore and quantum error correction research with an uncertain impact, these projects haven't proven themselves. So will AI chip Willow be any different? And if so, why? We're going to figure it out in this video. But first, let's go back and define what quantum computing is. So quantum computing is a type of computing that leverages the principles of quantum mechanics to process information. Unlike classical computers, which use binary bits to represent data, quantum computers use quantum bits, or qubits, which can exist in a state of superposition. A qubit can behave like a classical bit, storing either a zero or a one, but it can also be a weighted combination of both zero and one at the same time. This ability allows qubits to represent and compute multiple possibilities simultaneously. For example, two qubits can compute four pieces of information, three can compute eight, and four can compute 16. To understand quantum computing, it's essential to grasp four key principles of quantum mechanics. Superposition, as mentioned earlier, allows qubits to represent multiple possibilities at once. Entanglement occurs when quantum particles become strongly correlated, so the state of one can instantly affect another, no matter the distance. Decoherence is when quantum systems lose their quantum properties due to environmental interactions, causing quantum states to collapse into classical ones. Finally, interference happens when quantum states interact, creating patterns of probabilities that amplify correct results and cancel out incorrect ones. Now that we know how quantum computing works, let's return to the Google product. We're Jelvix, a software development partner for industry leaders. Subscribe for weekly tech videos and watch until the end for Jelvix experts' predictions on when quantum computing will make a real impact. Opinions on this differ, even at Jelvix. In this video, we present two perspectives, divided into two teams, the enthusiasts and the skeptics. Seeing undeniably impressive results, Jelvik skeptics immediately raised a fundamental concern. How can Google verify that Willow Quantum Chips' computations are correct? Google claims the chip can solve a problem in five minutes that would take a supercomputer 10 septillion years, longer than the age of the universe. This raises a big question. How can we verify the solution is correct, or do we just have to trust their claims? The enthusiasts counter that. In fact, verification does not require solving the entire problem again. One of our experts explained it best. Verifying an answer isn't the same as solving the whole problem. It's like finding a needle in a haystack. Hard to do, but once you have it, it's not that hard to verify it's a needle, and it doesn't take that much time at all. More importantly, let's highlight Google's major breakthrough, scalable error correction a challenge that has plagued quantum computing for 30 years. However, our skeptics weren't impressed. Let's consider this, they said. The practical implication of such error correction technology requires at least 1,000 to 10,000 stable qubits. Given that one usable qubit currently requires 10 physical qubits, its real-world use is still years, if not decades away. This estimate makes sense, but a little optimism about the not-so-near future doesn't hurt, does it? Another key aspect is quantum computing's role in AI. Jelvix enthusiasts highlight its potential to revolutionize AI training. Here's how. Traditional AI training relies on gradient descent, a step-by-step -step method for refining neural networks. Quantum computing, however, could explore all possible configurations at once, dramatically speeding up the process. However, the skeptics denied it, stating theory and practice are vastly different and the technological gap between Willow quantum chip and AI remains immense. Comparing 105 Willow's qubits to billions of classical bits of a single GPU optimized for matrix calculations. Plus, they stated GPUs are already optimized for AI, managing billions of bits in parallel. In contrast, quantum computers will struggle with stability, so it's doubtful that quantum computing will revolutionize AI anytime soon. The enthusiasts respond to that with a historical comparison. Early classical computers were also slow and impractical, 
Yet within decades, they became the foundation of modern computing. If quantum computing follows a similar path, it could one day co-process AI training, while silicon-based hardware continues handling interface. But a real impact from quantum AI? According to Jelvik skeptics, it's unlikely before 2050. Next, let's explore quantum computing and cryptography. Jelvik's enthusiasts are already raising concerns that quantum computers could soon break encryption, potentially making Bitcoin and other online security measures obsolete. Not yet, the skeptics reassured. Breaking RSA encryption requires millions of stable qubits, not 105. Plus, post-quantum cryptography is already in development. We just have to wait and see. And while quantum computing might eventually have the capacity to break some encryption, by that time, the companies and governments will already come up with quantum-resistant encryption. In fact, such projects are already in development. So it's a race between quantum advancements and encryption upgrades. The good news? Cryptographers have a head start. So here comes a final verdict. Is Willow a real breakthrough or just hype? While our skeptics admitted that Google had made progress in error correction, they remain firm in their stance. Quantum computers are still too small too unstable and too niche to be useful in 2025. Meanwhile, the enthusiasts highlighted this development as an important first step, just like early classical computers that were also impractical, but they paved the way for modern technology. Hence, Willow is the first real proof that scalable quantum computing is possible. In 15 to 20 years, we may see AI training accelerate with quantum computing, along with its potential practical applications in drug discovery, material science, and optimization. So, which side are you on? The enthusiasts or the skeptics? Share your thoughts in the comments. Check out our other trending video and support us by liking this one. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. Bye for now!